I don't know if this is new, but I feel like I came up with it. So I'm gonna take that one strand and I'm going to cut it. Today, if you are new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. I am back at you with a beauty related video. It's beauty related, right? Like hair is beauty related. But anyways, I've gotten a lot of questions about my uh, bangs that I had in my last video, which was a vlog. I hope you watched it. If you haven't, go watch it. Um, but uh, it was just about these bangs and they were pretty easy. I don't know if this is new, but I feel like I came up with it. I may have been influenced by somebody I watched at some point, but quite honestly, I don't know. Uh, but it's really easy. It's quick. You can take these suckers off and then put them back on, and they last for days on top of days, on top of weeks, on top of months. However long you freaking want it to last, it will last because you take them off at the end of the day. Hopefully. But uh, thank you for joining me. So before I get on with the video, really quick, if you haven't already, go subscribe. It is completely free. Um, it's free. It's up already. So <laughs> if you haven't, go subscribe already. And thumbs up as well if you like this video and if you want to see more hair-related video weaves, some Brazilian, some freaking Peruvian, whatever you guys want to see, I will do some videos because I love hair too. I mean, who doesn't? Like, we all have it. Well, hopefully, some of us. Anyways, uh, I'm prolonging this. Just stay tuned to see how I achieve these uh, bangalicious bangs. Wow, that was lame. So I'm going to start out with this strand of Marley hair. And I don't have the packaging, but this is what it usually looks like. So I'm going to take that one strand, and I'm going to cut it in half like so. So you have two of these bad boys and you can already see the bang is coming along already. If you've done this, you've already done half the job. So there it is. So uh, there's the other strand right there. And you're going to take a bobby pin. You're going to open it up. And you're going to stick that hair in between that bobby pin like so. And right there is your bang. So I already have these pre-made ones that I used before, but they need to be curled because it's kind of been a while. So I'm going to take that and opening, opening, open it up and just, I don't know, this is just where I always start. I don't know because of my bow head. Like, look at that thing. For real. It's its own continent. And you just stick it in there like that. Just like that. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Anyways, so that's just what I do with the rest of these. I just stick them in there. I mean, I usually have like the longer ones on the side just so you can have like a long to, to short in the front, very front, so you can have some effect, uh, there's some gradient. You guys get what the heck I'm trying to say here. So right there, make sure you push them back. And see right there? And you're gonna take this perm rod right here. And I don't really have the size of this, quite honestly, you guys, I'm sorry. You can find it at any beauty supply store. You're gonna take one of the strands. And you're gonna just simply wrap it around right there. You see I'm in the middle, just wrapping it around. Then I'm gonna take another strand, the same perm rod, and I'm gonna wrap it around on this strand too. So it's just really easy guys, you're wrapping it around, holding on to that, and you're gonna wrap another strand around. And then you're just going to pull it up a little bit. You see right there, I'm just pulling it all together and make sure everything is in there. Now I'm take that other side and just clip it in. Right there. Really easy. So I'm going to do that with the rest of the hair. I'm just clipping it in. And guys, just, just to mention, can you guys see how much better my skin is? I can't wait to show you guys what I've been using. It's not what I... Anyways, I can't wait to show you guys. So, there you go. You just... There you go. And I don't know why I was doing. No idea what I was doing. Zero. Zero. So the next thing, you can either boil your water on the stove. Right there. Or you can put it in the microwave. Um, I've heard some people say that you shouldn't put water in the microwave. It's exploded or something. I don't know. That's never happened. But just be careful regardless. And I'm going to put it in for 1 minute and 30 seconds. 
It depends on your microwave, but this usually gets my water like nice and hot, and it should be hot, you guys. So you can either do two things. You can dip it in hot water like this. Just put your head in there and dip it in like that. And um, uh, you're dipping it in. So this is one way. I'm showing. I'm gonna show you two ways how you do it. Ooh, I'm struggling right there, guys. And you can just take your towel and just dry it off. Or option B. It's coming. You can take it all out, just like that, and just dip it all in there. Just dip it in. And you can, just to make it dry a little faster, you can blow dry it, or you can air dry it. Doesn't really matter. And you usually want to take um, start from the end and pull it out. This is what I found to be the easiest. So you're just pulling it out. You're just gonna place them back in your hair. Place them back. And you can just fix them the way you want them. And for those little flyaways, you're gonna take some scissors and cut those out. And you're just gonna shape it any way you want to until you get it the way you want. So just play around with it. This is a finished product right here. No idea what I'm doing. Chin your butt. Just getting really comfortable with YouTube now. Clearly. Thank you for the support, you guys. So I'm Yvonne and I'm so polishing this gold. And I hope you continue to do so too.